Welcome back. Today we'll talk about one of the most useful tools for hard surface modeling in Nomad, the cell mask brush. So what is a mask? Well, to put it simply, it's a tool that covers and protects an area of your model and the area that is masked cannot be affected by any tools or brush. So let's get to the top right corner and tap on the wrench icon and then select the cell mask. Once you select this, on the left of your screen, these options will appear. These are selection tools and they determine the shape of the mask. So for instance, if I choose this rectangle selection and draw a mask on the model, it masks an area of the model like this. The masked area is darkened. Now, if I choose, let's say, this clay brush and draw on the model, it only works outside the mask. Or scale it with gizmo, the masked area remains unaffected. We cannot rotate or move it either. We can also edit this mask. Uh, we can blur its edges by tapping on the mask, sharpen it by tapping outside the mask on the model. We can also invert it by tapping once on the outside of the model, like this. And last but not least, we can also erase parts of it by enabling unmask and drawing on the mask. It simply erases that uh, part of the mask. And finally, if you don't need the mask any longer or you want to redraw it from scratch, you can simply clear it by drawing on the outside of the model like this. The other selection tools work the same way. The lasso selection allows you to draw random shapes of masks like this. Again, you can take out portions of it by activating unmask option. You can blur, sharpen and clear the mask, just like the pre previous one. Make sure the auto validate is enabled, otherwise you have to confirm it every time manually. The line selection lets you draw straight edged masks. You can also snap it. It's very useful for sci-fi stuff. Next it's polygon tool. This is my favorite. It allows you to draw irregular shaped masks with more control. Just like this. Then tap on the green dot to validate it and it creates a mask. We have already seen the rectangle selection so uh, let's move on to the next one which is uh, circle selection. As the name suggests, you can draw circle shaped masks with this. Now, if I turn the model, you see how it's automatically drawn on the backside as well. If you don't want that to happen, just go to the filter and check front facing vertex only. So these are the basics of cell mask. Now let's dive a little deeper. So when you tap on this icon over here, uh, this menu pops up. Here on the top are all the things we just talked about. And, but below these, we have got other options. We will talk about cell in a moment, but let's first look at the extract option. First, make sure you have masked an area on your model and then hit extract. It will extract the masked area. Now, if I tap on solo to see only the extracted object, see how it uh, doesn't have any thickness right now? That's because here the thickness is set to zero and down here closing action is set to none. Let's set the closing action to cell and increase the thickness and then extract again. Now it has some thickness. If we set this to fill, it will simply fill the hole. Next we have split and it works the same way extract does. Only difference is it just splits the masked area and unmasked areas. The closing action also works the exact same way. So the next option is Carve. 
If you mask an area and hit carve, the masked area will cut into the object like this. Um, I usually keep the smoothness option unchecked to avoid unnecessary shell thickness distortion. Uh, auto edge loop automatically adds edge loops to the side of an extracted piece. And if you uncheck it, you will be able to control how many edge loops are added. Uh, that's pretty much all I know about cell mask and once you know these functions, sky is the limit. So I hope you learned something from this tutorial and please consider subscribing if you want to see more tutorials from this channel and as always, uh, thank you very much for watching.